In this video, we're going to provide the solution to question number four from exam three for math 2270, in which case we are given a vector y, uh, which is, has the coordinates 2, 3, and negative 3. We're given another vector u, whose coordinates are given as 0, 1, negative 1. And we're told that w is the span of u. So we think of w here as the line passing through the origin in the direction of u. So it's the line spanned by u. So with these, uh, with these vectors and vector space specified, we're asked to compute the orthogonal projection onto w of the vector y. So remember the formula that we're looking for in this example here. So this proj w of y, we often are going to abbreviate as just y hat because it's kind of a mouthful to, to, to write all that down or to say it all the time. In which case, the orthogonal projection is going to be computed as the sum where, let's say we are W here is this, we have the span and we have some orthogonal basis, uh, say like UI right here. In which case, then I ranges from 1 to N. And what we're going to then compute is we're going to take UI dot Y. So we take, we're going to take the inner product of these vectors divided by UI dot UI. Which, of course, if this is an orthonormal basis, then ui dot ui will always equal 1. So you can ignore the denominator if it were orthonormal. Um, and, which, and then you also scale that by ui. So you take the sum of those things. This will give us the orthogonal projection if we have an orthogonal basis, which you will have that on this example. Now, in this example, uh, in this question, I should say, we only have one vector u right here as that spans uh, spans W and it's, it's a non-zero vector. It does give us an orthogonal basis for W. So we're ready to go. So what we need to compute here is we're going to compute U dot Y over U dot U. And we're going to times that by U itself right here. Now the order of a dot product doesn't matter, but the order of a Hermitian product does matter. So if this was a complex vector, make sure that the Y, the vector you're projecting from is the second factor in order for this calculation to be correct. For which case, then we see here that the inner product of y and u, we're going to get 0 plus 3 uh, plus 3, 0 plus 3 plus 3. Uh, then we sit over u dot u, which case we're going to get 0 plus 1 plus 1. And then we times that by 0, 1, and negative 1. Simplifying the scalars, we're going to end up with 6 over 2 times 0, 1, and negative 1. Uh, if we simplify the fraction, of course, that's just a 3. So it's 3 times 0, 1, and negative 1. For which then if we multiply by 3, uh, we then get 0, 3, and negative 3, which we can see is choice A right here.